where is the most luxurious airport in the world? Good morning. Good morning. We're flying today from Malaysia to the Philippines via arguably a bucket list destination airport. We've got 12 hour transfer to really test out just how good this place really is. So there may be a slight hiccup. We didn't know that you had to book onward travel from Philippines. So we've only got a boarding pass to get into Singapore. We've had to book onward flight to then go to out of Philippines in like three and a half weeks time. But we've got 13 hours layover. I don't know if we're gonna have time well, I think check-in's three hours before, so we're gonna have nine hours sitting outside the airport. So this plan hasn't really gone to plan. Landed in the terminal. Now we've got hope that we can get a boarding card and not have to go out the airport for nine hours. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Success. We so, have boarding cards. All we had to do was we spoke to a really helpful lady at Information and she said go to Scoot Transfer Desk. Scoot is the airline we're flying with. Went there, no queue at all. Ryan spoke to the lady and explained the situation. So the check-in desk in Kuala Lumpur had checked us in for both flights but she couldn't print our boarding pass because we had no onward travel so we checked in for our flight from Kuala Lumpur she gave us a boarding card for that we went through in that time we then booked our outward flight from the Philippines onto Indonesia so when we got here we were worried we'd have to leave the airport and come back in obviously when you do that you have to be You've only got a few hours at the airport and we wanted to make use of our 12 that we now have. So, just went to her, she printed our boarding pass. After we showed her that we had a flight out, we're good to go. Got good. our trolley and uh, now we're in Singapore Airport. Now it's going to find something fun to do. So we're just on the Skytrain between Terminal 1 and 2. What do you think of Terminal 1? We haven't really seen much of it. We just walked straight through the middle of it. But as far as sales go, it's pretty bog standard. But it does have a cactus garden, a lotus garden, and some kind of discovery garden, which I don't know about because we haven't gone in. But we will, because we have 11 minutes, 11 hours, 30 minutes to our flight. to be relaxing so there's a number of ways they do that so number one carpet and floor think of an airport hall you think the click clack of heels wheelie cases it's all carpeted here so you don't hear any of that and reduces sound also there's no announcements so you won't hear flight departing to London but it just only classical music that's been played loads of greenery Loads of relaxing seating areas, You've got lots of recliners, loads of power outlets and everything. Toilets super clean. And actually for an airport, it's pretty quiet. Considering the size of it and how much of a hub it is, yeah. you'd think there'd be a lot more going on. But, but yeah, actually so far, quite a nice relaxing airport. So one thing the airport offers is a free city tour. Come down to 
F50. In terminal two. And look for this guy here. So, what you do, as long as you've got a layover of over five hours, and you book in advance, you can get a two and a half hour city tour through Singapore. You do need a visa and an arrivals card. a arrivals card and to store, your to store your luggage. But if you do all that, it's a free tour. We don't have a visa, so unfortunately we can't do it. But it's definitely something, if you have to meet all those requirements, it's worth doing. Wouldn't you say so? I would say so. It's really this is the Sunflower Garden. You can already feel how warm it is. Maybe hotter than Malaysia. So where are we? Terminal 3? Terminal 3. Yeah. And we're going in, leaving our bag. Nothing but photographs, leave nothing but footprints. Babies. Oh wow, look at them. Oh, it's bigger ones, eh? So, we need some battery. Just turn on up. Have a little pedal. Wait till the light goes green. And she's charging. Right, only 54% to go. <laughs> development. So the jewel is actually located outside of the airport. So you have to clear immigration. And we didn't realize that on a British passport, you don't need a visa. So that means we can check out the airport go into the jewel and then just check back in just using our passports. And it's all automated actually, you don't have to cure anything, it's you all scan automated, your passport yeah. in the machine. And... So we could in theory have done a free tour, but we then have to pay for bag storage and it's £10 for that bag, £5 for that bag. So it's £15 each for a tour which would then end up costing us 30 quid, which wouldn't be a free tour, unfortunately. And we're more excited about the airport. Yeah. I'm making a TikTok. So, you've done it. Checked out. Well, you didn't check out, you. I guess you check out. It went through immigration, easy peasy. Had to fill out a form online, took five minutes. And now, we're in Singapore. So I think you had like 96 hours or something? 72, 96, I don't know. But we are popping out. We go to the Jewel and Terminal 4, because they've got lots of free stuff to do. Jump on the bus to terminal or free shuttle bus. So uh, one thing to note, I think all the good stuff in terminal four is actually in the terminal. The air side, not the land side. So well, you can transit between terminals one, two and three without having to leave the airport as such, but for terminal four you do have to go through immigration and leave. So then, when you want to get back in, you can only do it once. So don't waste that going into terminal.
is actually a shopping mall. Just outside of the airport. The easiest way to access it is from Terminal 1. It's just across the road. But you can actually access it from Terminals 2 and 3. Hello world! A bit fancy, isn't it? Hang on. The mirror maze for an adult, 1890. It's the Singapore dollars, by the way. Bouncing net, 24.90. Experience Studio, 25. Or buy a bundle, $39. Canopy Park, Hedge Maze, Mirror Maze, Walking Net, Canopy Bridge. We will be doing none of it. So rip off. <laughs> show on the waterfall it was only about five minutes long but actually it was pretty clever it was pretty good not bad you know it's the world's largest indoor waterfall i did not tell me more and if you want to see a light show it's every hour from 7 30 p.m till 12 to the till 11 30 p.m so 7 30 8 30 9 30 10 30 and 11 30 you can see the light show. It lasts like five minutes. So obviously, shopping mall, lots of floors, lots to do, lots of money everything is very expensive in here but then that could just be singapore on a whole so but yeah and this is how you leave you can walk over we're going to terminal three to head to the cinema <laughs> 